Welcome to Manchester and the big fights just keep on coming after a fantastic weekend at Wembley Stadium in front of 80,000 people when Anthony Joshua defending, defended his world titles in a brilliant fight against Alexander Povetkin. We bring you now what I believe is fight of the year. Tony Bellew challenging Alexander Usyk for the WBO, WBA, IBF, WBC and Ring Magazine World Championship titles. The first ever four belt undisputed fight ever in British boxing history and a massive event on November 10th live on Sky Sports box office and DAZN across America as well. We have a huge night of boxing planned and already very, very few tickets left went on sale at 12 p.m. today. British Championship fights on the car between uh, Ryan Walsh and Isaac Lowe, Scotty Cardle challenging Joe Caldina. Anthony Crawler here today will be in a final eliminator for the WBA title against Dowd Jordan, back in the arena that has seen him in so many great fights, of course, capturing the WBA world title here previously as well. Josh Kelly will be on the card defending his WBA international title as well and a massive, massive night of boxing and so important for these two men. Before we speak to the respective teams, um, I'm delighted to welcome the president of the WBA, Gilberto Mendoza, here today. And I'm uh, just going to pass over to you, Gilberto, to say a few words. This is a fantastic fight and also an important fight for Anthony Crawler in a final eliminator for the WBA. Uh, good afternoon to everybody. Uh, once again, thank you, uh, England, for your reception to the WBA and especially for the sport of boxing. Yes, it's pretty interesting that uh, since I was very young, I, I had the opportunity to see the first uh, Cruiserweight that unified title, which was Evander Holyfield. And we're talking about 30 years ago that, that this happened and then having this event with you, Matchroom, who has been working very tight with the WBA and which uh, without uh, no question are becoming one of the best promoters in the world. To make this fight happen again after so much uh, time to have Tony Bellew fighting for the WBA title against one of the best boxers in the sport right now, one of the pound for pound. Actually, there are two pound for pound here. It's uh, Usyk and also Vasil Lomachenko, who is somewhere around. I don't know where exactly he is. Yes, but uh, this fight will be very interesting. I think uh, to bring out the best for the fans is one of the things uh, we're looking forward to do. And then second, having uh, Manchester, Anthony Krola fighting again for some kind of title opportunity for the WBA is more than an honor. Uh, the, his history is well known by all you guys and I think uh, it became international known. And uh, it's going to be a great night of boxing and I'm really pleased that it is going to happen in England. Thanks Gilberto. Yes, welcome to Vasil Lomachenko as well here today. Uh, this fight actually is the final eliminator for his WBA title as well. Anthony? back in the arena. It's been a, a slow year for you. Of course, it would do for anyone that gets married. You know, <laughs> you've had your duties to take care of, but I know how excited you are to get back fighting in the arena and a massive fight at this stage in your career. Yeah, of course, it's a huge fight and it's, um, I think the styles of mine and Dow Jordan will gel really nicely to be a great fight. I know there's a lot of people going on about being on the undercard for the first time in a while, but there's two guys up here who, well, if it, if it did have a problem with it, I couldn't do out about it. But, um, no, nah, I'm honoured, listen, I'm honoured to be underneath them. Two great fighters with Tony Bellew, who will go way back with, and um, Alexander Usyk. Two fantastic fighters. And, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just happy to be back in Manchester, like you say. It's been a bit of a slow year with injury and stuff, but I believe I'm better than ever in the gym. I'm improving. And um, I'm just looking forward to be back. You're not underneath no one. You're with me. You're not underneath me. You're on it the same. Thank you, mate. Oh, thank you. And uh, Anthony, of course, we know Usyk, a pound for pound, top five, and, and Vasil Lomachenko as well. This fight, a final eliminator for him would be a very, very tough fight, but I know how excited he would be to potentially come to the UK after watching the show on Saturday. Yeah, of course. Listen, I'd never be disrespectful and call this guy out, but if he ever wants to fight in England, then obviously win on November the 10th. There's a good chance that happens if he ever wants to come over and yeah, listen, I'd, I'd love to get in the ring with that guy over there. He's a fantastic fighter, one of the best fighters on the planet. And um, it's some of that I'd look forward to, of course. Thanks, Anthony. Um, a man responsible for uh, the directing those careers of Lomachenko and Usyk is Igis Klimas. Igis, uh, it's a pleasure to work with you and also K2 Promotions who are co-promoting this show. When we had a meeting to talk about this fight, 
Um, it was very clear of, of the path they wanted to take, which was to fight Tony Bellew and then move up to heavy, heavyweight and try and capture world titles up there. Of course, the man to my left has very different plans. But Aegis, um, this is a, a big fight for Alexander and also a final eliminator for, for Vassal's belt as well. It's going to be a great night on November 10th. Very good, very good. Looking forward for it. I'm also very proud you know, to represent, um, as Mr. Mendoza just said, one of the best. No, he's the best. Best, and I can say with a proud, he's the best cruiserweight in the, in the, in the cruiserweight division right now. So, no. looking forward. Obviously, it was a great victory winning the, the Super Series as well, but now a fight that people have talked about for a long time, a tough challenge against Tony Bellew. Uh, I can say it's for sure it's going to be very tough. It's not easy. It's not going to be easy park in the, you know, easy walk in the park. As we know, Tony is a very good fighter. And the, what, is, what I think about that is both of these guys, they want to challenge. Why did this fight was picked up? Because Tony, as today, one of the best cruiserweights in the, in, in, you know, in the world and Alexander is not looking just to go and fight to defend his belt. He wants to have a challenge, just like Tony did uh, during his age. He was the best cruiserweight and he didn't have a chance to, to was no more left for him to fight so he stepped in the, in the heavyweight division. That says a lot. Now when he has a challenge, he says, screw it, I'm coming down. I wanted to challenge, I won those belts. That's why I think this bout is going to be a very, very good bout. Thank you, Easy. So we're going to pass over now to Team Bellew. Dave, uh, this is a fight, obviously, that's got you very excited. You texted me last night after seeing the promo, and every time we talk about this fight, we see these promos. It's just a, one of those fights that comes around at once in every lifetime. And after a wonderful um, few fights with Tony Bellew, this is the biggest challenge of them all and a chance for him to go down as a pound for pound great. Yeah, I think you've just touched on that. It's um, something that I look at as a, as a once in a lifetime. You know, I've been fortunate to, to work with Tony now for a number of years, and for me to have the kind of fighter that he is and the fights that we've taken, we've, we've won, um, you know, that's, that's once in a lifetime stuff. And um, to cap it all off in a unified, undisputed, cruiserweight championship fight of the world that's just you know it, it's as big as it gets it's what we've said it's for all the marbles um, so yeah it's 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 a pinnacle and it's the reason why that there is this fight happening because you know as far as I was concerned I think as far as Tony was concerned you know he was sat there kind of like retired after he'd beaten David A the second time there's nothing else to do you know I wanted him to retire I wanted him to walk away um, and then was sitting watching Usyk absolutely dismantle and, and take apart Gassiev. And I was sat at home uh, watching the fight with my wife and, and so Usyk called Tony's name straight after in the post-fight interview in the ring. I just looked at her and went, oh shit, we're going again. <laughs> <laughs> I just knew, I didn't even have to text him or anything, I just knew the minute that he called his name, I knew that it was, it, you know, it was a fight that was gonna happen. Um, so we're here. It's a massive challenge, but it's only fitting, you know, he's, he's a man that everybody loves to give zero chance and, and say that he's, you know, he's got no chance, he's going to get smashed, he's going to get this, he's going to get that. It, way back from when he was domestic level, then he's only European level. Now he's, you know, he's, he's, he's done what he's done and now he's, he's showing his metal and his, his heart and his determination because there's something there that he wants and is going to put it on the line once more and um, we can't wait. Thanks Dave. Alex, welcome and uh, it's been a, a pleasure to deal with you throughout and your team. It's good to deal with uh, honest people in boxing, there aren't many, but uh, you guys have, have been a pleasure to work with. It's a deal that happened very quickly and that's always a great sign that two sides want the fight and uh, we know you're very excited after seeing the show on Saturday and being live, this is another huge event for British boxing and a big fight for K2 and Alexander Usyk. Definitely. Thank you, Eddie. Hello, everyone. 
It's a great pleasure being here introducing such a great event of November 10th. First of all, I would like to give a credit, a huge credit to Eddie and his partners, uh, Sky Sports, uh, for the job that they've done within the recent years, inhaling the new life uh, to the British boxing and uh, to the boxing of the whole world. And I hope our cooperation uh, will not just be uh, within one, one fight or two fight, but we will be able to bring some top-level events uh, to Britain, to Ukraine, and to the whole world. Second, I would like to say some pleasant words uh, to the true warrior, to the Lionheart, who I respect so much. Um, he proved many times that being an underdog does not mean being a loser. And, uh, of course, I will be supporting Usyk on the 10th, but I want to wish Tony good luck, a successful and a safe training camp, and, uh, of course, a fair fight. Coming back to Usyk, he's just extraordinary. Uh, he's a one in a million. Together, oh, we've accomplished uh, every boxer's dream within just 15 fights in five years. We collected all the belts in the division. And we are now here in the native land of uh, boxing, creating the new history. This matchup is uh, something the world was waiting for. And just look at these belts. They are just amazing. Come on. The winner will get them all, and uh, the winner will probably book a place in the uh, Boxing Hall of Fame. This is the history in the making, that's what I think. And uh, thank you guys for uh, loving this sport, and uh, for being here, for loving it, and for supporting it. So, Usyk Bellew, November 10th, Manchester Arena, live on Sky. Yeah, and uh, probably I have a small request for the boxing fans, British boxing fans, um, just not to grab all the tickets today, leave something for the Ukrainians, yeah? <laughs> uh, we have like thousands willing to come. So, thank you. Thank you, Alex, thank you. If, if I can, I, I want to just add a little bit. He said the winner will take them all. The winner will keep it all. <laughs> yeah. Eglis, when I met, I met two of the best pound for pound boxers. When you have two of the best pound for pound boxers in the room, you cannot decide. I'm completely sure the best cruiserweight in the history is, is coming up right now from this fight. I don't have any doubt about it. But we also have Vasil Lomachenko, who I think also believe is, is going to be a legend in this sport, specifically with all his career. That's what I was meaning. But uh, it's going to be an interesting night, you know, and uh, thank you for fighting for the World Boxing Association. Thank you, Gilberto. Thank you, thank you. Um, to talk to the fighters, um, I'm going to pass over to Adam Smith. I think Sky Sports have done such a wonderful job for British boxing and we know now British boxing is red hot and every broadcaster, every sponsor, every promoter wants to be involved but the reason it's red hot is because of Sky Sports continued investment in the sport when it wasn't red hot. When everybody else packed up and went home, Sky Sports says, no, no, we do boxing and they stuck with us. They, did, they made the best move, I think, throughout their entire history, which was making Matchroom Boxing their exclusive promoter. And then from there, we went from strength to strength. And as you saw on Saturday night, British Boxing is the envy of the entire world. So to speak to the fighters and say a few words, I'm going to pass over to Adam Smith, head of boxing for Sky Sports. Thanks, Eddie. It was another uh, magnetic, magnificent occasion at Wembley Stadium on Saturday night with 80,000. and. Uh, you're right, boxing's absolutely booming and it's wonderful to see. I've got to pinch myself a little bit, uh, being amongst not only Tony Bellew today, but Oleksandr Usyk and Vasil Lomachenko out there. Pound for pound greats. This is a fantastic era. It's wonderful that uh, these guys are giving us the best entertainment in the ring. We never forget that the fighters are what matters most. And uh, as we saw with uh, AJ and Povetkin on Saturday night, more thrills, more spills, more great nights uh, for the fans. And uh, this is a matchup that when Eddie told me I had to sit down, I couldn't believe that Tony Belly was, was doing this after the double over David Hay. And Alexander Usyk, I've been uh, admiring for, for some years now, my, my comrade Johnny Nelson, who won't argue that he was the greatest world cruiserweight in history, but he did reign for seven odd years as the WBO champion, so he wasn't bad. Uh, and he's also been a, a massive admirer of, of Alexander Usyk, and we've watched the World Series with interest. Um, Alexander, you've come out of that with all the treasure, the four belts. Uh, first of all, how proud are you to have achieved that so quickly 
in your pro career, only 15 fights in. Yeah, I take it really easy. And now you come to Britain to take on Tony Bell. How dangerous a challenge do you think he will be on November the 10th? Это будет нелегким, это будет нелегко, но я к этому готовлюсь, я к этому готов. Я очень рад, что я приехал обратно, вернулся в Великобританию, потому что отсюда я уже увозил трофеи, которые в моей жизни очень много для меня значат. I'm sure it won't be an easy fight, an easy challenge for me, and I'm really, really glad to come back to England, uh, to, to the UK, the country uh, which gave me a chance uh, to get some trophies already that mean a lot in my life. And is it solely concentrating on Tony Belly, or are you thinking about what might lie beyond the likes of the heavyweight generation now with Anthony Joshua and so on? Я о Тони Беллю сейчас на данный момент вообще не думаю. Я думаю только о своей подготовке, как качественно ее выполнить и как мне все то пройти трудное, которое я прохожу каждый раз, когда тренируюсь. I'm not actually uh, thinking about Tony Bellio at this moment uh, and uh, I just uh, concentrated on my training camp and uh, I'm thinking how I should overcome all the challenges that I have uh, ahead uh, before the fight. Let's move to Tony. Uh, why? <laughs> Again. Everyone asks why. Uh, I was on my honeymoon. And for one reason or another, I was stood there watching Alexander beat up Mora Gassiev on a mobile phone. And uh, the fight stops. The wife gives me this look as if to say, we are supposed to be enjoying our night out on our honeymoon. Why are you watching that phone? <laughs> and then he, he makes the ultimate sin. He says my name. And uh, it didn't take long. As soon as he said my name, I knew. I knew when I was watching the phone. So, when I was watching the phone, I knew. So, just the, the world's going to write me off, Adam. And the more you write me off, the more I want to fight. So, we will see. I'm going up against the monster. The man who no one really wants to fight. The man who just dismantles fighters and beats them easily. And make no mistake, he's looking past me already. He might say he's not. But he's already asking Eddie, who am I going to fight a heavyweight? I know he is. And he's going to look at me today and the same thing. But there's only one difference when he looks in my eyes. He passed a comment after Saturday's little stare down. And the comment that he passed is, he thinks I'm arrogant. Tony, well, I'm not a uh, monster. Ah, I'm you, white you rabbit. Are, you are a monster. I'm white rabbit. I'm not monster. So he <laughs> says he believes I am arrogant. But the only thing is... It is not arrogance that he sees. For the first time in his whole career, he sees a man looking back at him who believes he can win and not a man who believes that he's just going to lose. Because as great as them other fighters are, as good as they are that he's faced and beaten, not one of them goes in there with the heart and the belief that they're going to beat him. And that changes on November the 10th. I don't just think or believe, I know I'm going to find a way. I always do. I've got no disrespectful things to say about him. He's an amazing champion. I'm a fan. I'm an even bigger fan of his friend. I really am. The, the guy's amazing. Uh, you know, I, I've, I've probably asked one man for a picture in this whole world. I'm going to ask him again. That's going to be the second man today. He's amazing at what he does. But there's, there's being a, an amazing amateur and then there's being something else in the professional ranks. And he's going to learn on November the 10th that I bring something differently than everyone else. And let's not forget, I have the one thing that he doesn't have. And that's a punch that can switch lights off within, within the blink of an eye. Just one wrong step, one wrong maneuver, and it's over. I showed that and I've seen people saying, oh, he only beat an old man in David Hay. Well, okay, I'm good at beating old men. 
But every time I'm wrote off, I always find a way. And on November the 10th, it's going to be no different. That's what I wanted to ask you about, you finding a way. You've had your ups and downs through your career, but the momentum seems to have come when you've been the underdog, when you've been written off you know, at Everton against David Hay once, then against David Hay twice. Is this how you get your kicks that you've got to have a challenge to get up for? Yeah, getting me kicks is the wrong kind of thing. I don't let's get the punches. Uh, I'm just, I don't know. I'm probably mentally a bit of a lunatic at times, and I love. Definitely. If the truth be known, I just like fighting. But you want the toughest challenges. He's the best. Yeah. There's no two ways about it. Believe you me, after I beat him on November the 10th, he's going to win a, a portion of the heavyweight championship of the world. I know it. I know I, I just know. I've, I've watched him. I went to Ukraine in the gym sparring over there many years ago, and I can't remember what year it was. It was the year my grandfather passed away. I left. Uh, we took part in the Klitschko Cup after it. And it was him and Glavatsky I was sparring with. And they're just... He's an amazing fighter. Like I said, I've always admired him. And, I, and I'll, I'll always be kind of a fan and admire him. But November the 10th, that changes. I turn into something different, mate. When that low blow goes on, I'm a different person. And no matter how good they are, no matter what he does, I am not going to stand there like this. I will not stand there and just allow him to go and rattle off four or five. It will not happen. It can't. Because I will not stand in awe. I will not admire him. I won't. I will fight with everything I've got. You will have to nail me to the floor. Nail me to the floor to keep me there. And you could do it. You really could. I'm not stupid. But I don't think you are. And I don't think you can. And I just hope when it gets hard, because it's going to get very, very hard, that you want it as much as I do. Alexander, you obviously wanted as much as Tony Bellew. Why did you call his name? Why was it Bellew that you wanted? What did you see in him? I call him why it's Tony Bellew. Because he's one of those people who takes big challenges боксирует до конца, потому что многие ребята не хотят боксировать, они приходят и находят причины для отказа. Этот никаких, никакого отказа не сделал, он сказал, да, я буду боксировать, и в этом есть плюс. Такие бои будут крутыми. I tell you why I chose Tony Bellew, because he is the man who takes the biggest challenges. And he's not the kind of uh, usual boxers who come, see how hard it is, and they just quit. He will come to the end. And these kind of fights are something the world wants to see. And he says he has the one thing that you don't, and that's the power, the punch power. How do you answer that? He's kidding. <laughs> we will soon see my friend we will soon see I do not play I wish I could play games but I can't on November the 10th we'll see Tony you've had some phenomenal nights through your career I think you've always said that Goodison Park nothing will the beat greatest, it the greatest nothing will ever touch that no but matter. is this no, the greatest challenge for you ever no no Walking into Goodison Park, no one can understand the pressure. I can't put it into words. Nobody can understand the pressure I felt walking into Goodison Park. The only fight me little boys attended. They can never understand the pressure. I lose that fight, I, I would never have shown me face again. Uh, this one, it's funny. Because before the first David Hay fight, everybody said to me, we fear for Tony Bellew's health. So I must be getting better because this time they're only telling me I'm only going to get a lesson. So at least I'm not going to actually, my health isn't going to be affected. This time I'm only going to get a boxing lesson. So I'm either getting better or the opponents are getting worse. Well, the truth is the opponents are getting better. And also a little bit of truth is I'm getting better. And I just, I know I'm going to find a way. As good as he is, as great as he is, and he is a superstar. I told him on Saturday, good afternoon, superstar. He is, he knows he is as well, you know. 
The only thing he doesn't have is the looks, but <laughs> he is a superstar. He, he literally is a superstar. Yeah. He can do everything besides the one big bang that puts people to sleep. He's unbelievable at what he does. Awkward, slick. His greatest asset is his feet. And people don't realise that. Anybody who understands and knows boxing, all as you watch guys from the outside, you look at his hands and how he does things with his hands, it's his feet that are the key. His position of his feet, the same guy who's sitting on the front row here, it's the feet that make them great. It's how they can move and switch angles and differentiate the, the weight at certain times in fights. And that's what confuses fighters. It will not confuse me. I won't be shocked by his speed. I won't be shocked by his foot movement. No matter what he says, he will be shocked by me. He will be shocked when I've hit him for the first time. He'll be shocked by I'm the quickest cruiserweight he'll ever face. And although they'll say more, Gassiev punches harder than Tony Bell, boxing and punching is all about timing. And it's about taking the right opportunities at the right time. And I'm going to be the first professional fighter he's faced who will do that. As Eddie said, it's a compelling the fight of the year. Could it be the last time for people to see Tony Bellew in a ring, win, lose or draw? Mate, if I don't stop after this, she's going to divorce me and I've only been married nearly four or five months, so I don't fancy getting divorced. It's not part of the plan. So she'll probably be watching this somewhere, babe. I promise you this is maybe the last one. <laughs> <laughs> I do love you daily as well. <laughs> Thanks, Adam. Um, and uh, I'm not answering to Rachel either after this one. This is your last one for all these belts. Uh, he phones me, and we're in the car, and she's sitting next to me. And the first thing says, Tone, Tone, I've got that. And, and although I shouldn't say it, she looks at me and she says, <laughs> That's what she says. She doesn't say it to that right hand phone. She's a very well mannered girl. But she every time tell him he's not fighting. So but she likes Eddie and so do I. Normally she goes, Hi Ed. And then just Yeah. Okay. So November 10th. As they say, all the marbles, IBF, WBO, WBC, WBA. Ring Magazine belt, the first ever four belt undisputed fight in this country's history. Two great, great fighters that will put it all on the line for your entertainment. Live on Sky Sports box office, live on the zone across America as well. One great fighter, one fat lucky guy. Okay. Get it right. All right. Fair enough. Two great fighters, two great, great champions. Crawler Nusik. <laughs> <laughs> Crawler's not up for that one. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I thank you all for coming. Thanks uh, to Team Usyk for making the trip over and thanks to Aegis uh, and Alex as well. Like I said, it's a pleasure to, to work with you and thanks for the team as well and Loma, everybody. This is going to be a great fight, celebration of boxing. Two guys that want the challenge, two guys that want the chest, the, the test to be the best. And you will get a great fight on November 10th. We're going to have, uh, clear these tables now. Check. 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 I said chess. You said chess. You said chess. You said two guys. Always money with you, isn't it? Okay, okay. I'll say it again. Two guys that want the test. Two guys that want the money. <laughs> and two guys that want the glory. But I promise this fight is built off glory, not money. And that's quite unique in the sport of boxing. And I like that. But they will make a lot of money as well. So that's good for everyone. So. Thank you very much. We're going to have head-to-heads up here now. And everyone's available for one-on-ones. Thank you.